Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alessa. It's me from the future on my webcam. Um, I don't know why I didn't say this, but today we're talking about discipline. I have honestly really changed and developed over the last few months from implementing a lot of the things that I've learned and just applying them to my life. And I wanted to share them because it's something that I feel passionate about. I've always been somebody who procrastinates a lot. I wait till the last minute to do everything. I tell myself I'm gonna do something and I don't do it. New Year's or summer or my birthday or something will always come around and I'm like, okay, on this day, I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna work out every day. And then I do it for a little bit and then I stop. And I've kind of been like that forever. Now that I am almost done university and I'm trying to do really well in my classes and kind of just really develop as a person and accomplish a lot of goals that I have, I want to be more disciplined. And there are a few things that I've done to implement that. So I have some notes that I'm gonna share with you guys and I hope that you find them helpful. One of the best things I did that really helped me start getting more disciplined was designing my 2.0. I feel like YouTubers have definitely talked about this so maybe you've heard about it before but I will talk about it anyway from my point of view. So this is mine. You literally need to think about who you wanna be I like to write mine in the third person. I feel like it's cool to like make it someone that you're like looking up to instead of just being like, I'm going to do this. It's like, well, 2.0 me is doing this. Designing your 2.0 is basically just writing down all of the things that the best version of yourself would be doing. Who is Alessa 2.0? She is mindful of her spending and saves her money. She loves to eat healthy, nourishing foods. She takes her vitamins, she gets about 5 a.m. every day. Write down whatever it is that you want the best version of yourself to be doing. Really think about, envision yourself as who you want to be and write down all of the things that that person is doing. Next thing that I think is really helpful is asking yourself why you want to do these things. So now you have all of these qualities that you want the best version of yourself to have, but now you wanna figure out what are the root causes for those. Because I feel like sometimes if you have a goal but it's for the wrong reason, the universe or yourself or whatever you want to think about it's not going to give you what you want because you're not going after it for the right reason one of the things on my 2.0 list is that i want to work out five days a week if i wanted to work out five days a week because i wanted to look like somebody else that i was like envious of versus wanting to like be in my healthiest strongest form those are two different things. I just feel like you need to have positive reasons behind what you're doing. You say that you wanna save your money, for example, which is one of my goals. Why do I wanna do that? Well, I wanna save my money so I can buy a van to live in. I wanna save my money so I can go on a trip. Write those things down on a separate piece of paper or in your phone or whatever you want. The third step that I have is to hang up your why somewhere. You wrote it on your phone, make it your wallpaper, whatever, but I feel like the power of seeing something all the time is really what helps it like manifest. And I think if you have all of the reasons why you want to do these things, it really motivates you to get there. I have my 2.0 written down in this journal that I take everywhere. This is like my bag journal, so it's always with me, but I also have a picture of it on my phone too. And the next thing you want to do is plan and write down a routine. If you have all of these goals, that's fantastic, but if you don't have a way to get from the goals to achieving them, you're not gonna be disciplined, there's no point. It would be like saying, I'm gonna work out every day but not picking a time, so it's like, when am I really gonna do that? Never. So my routine isn't written down, it's actually on a whiteboard over there, and I could pick up my tripod to show you guys, but like, the whiteboard in the corner of my room. I don't know if you can see it. You know what, let me pull up my other schedule too. If you wanna get serious about routine, this is what you gotta do. It's kind of hard to see, but this is Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. all planned out in like a chart that I did on Google Docs. And I literally created the ideal routine that kind of meets all of my goals on here. So now I can kind of look at it every day and be like, oh, okay, it's this time, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I have Wake up, morning routine, breakfast, workout, get ready, prep dinner, uh, Sunday reset scheduled, make food, classes, all that kind of stuff is in there. You might not be a control freak like me, so you might not want to do like a crazy chart like that, but just have some sort of routine so you know what you're doing. Like, are you going to work out on Mondays or are you not? Then the next step is what I like to call 
many steps. I feel like the build up to something is what makes it really hard. Like for me, whenever I was on campus, I would go to the gym. But now it's summer school, I have summer classes, but they're online. So now I'm not trying to go to campus, I'm gonna work out at home. But I feel like getting the weights out and putting my gym clothes on and putting on my yoga mat and all that, it's just so annoying to do that it just turns me off from working out. So Tiny Steps kind of comes into play to help me get that process done, but make it a lot easier on myself so I want to do it. So the first thing I do when I wake up, if you've watched my morning routine video, and if you haven't, watch it. But the first thing I do in the morning, aside from like making my bed, is putting on my gym clothes. That's the first tiny step I do that pushes me on my goal of working out. Next thing I'll do eventually is like make my breakfast. Okay, now I'm full, I'm able to work out. Then put the yoga mat out. Then maybe the night before even I took out the weights. If you have something that you wanna do, Find ways to break it down and just make it so easy for yourself so that you're able to do it. But yeah, I think tiny steps is really helpful. I think that's like one of the best things you can do to really get something done. So I would really recommend that step. The next tip I have is to ask yourself, is this good for me in the long term or is it good for me in the short term? I was definitely one of those people who would just sit on Instagram and scroll for like two hours when I have stuff to do. And then by the end of it, be like, oh my God, I just wasted two hours of my life. And yeah, in the moment, okay, I'm watching all these videos, I'm getting like dopamine, but did that help me out? Do I still have assignments due? Yes. It might be hard to remember, and it's definitely hard for me sometimes, but just try to ask yourself before, is this good for me in the long term, or is it good for me in the short term only? I feel like people really want to chase short term satisfaction, like obviously doing something that's going to give you results in a long time is not it's good in the long term but in terms of like instant gratification it's not giving but i feel like while you're on a journey of trying to become more disciplined so you can achieve your long-term goals you have to kind of start training yourself to not give into the short-term satisfaction so easily and another thing that I found really helpful is celebrating when you get something done. I feel like for a long time, I was kind of in hustle mode and I would just wanna bang out these tasks and I wouldn't have gratitude or like appreciate myself for doing it. I'd just be like, ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Like I waited till the last minute, I need to get all this done. And I wouldn't be proud that I got it done. I think celebrating your successes is one of the best ways to really like help yourself do things. Every time I work out, I have a dance party after, or every time I cross something off my to-do list, I, I just go like, woo! Doing something to make yourself like feel good and bring up your energy is gonna make the task more satisfying. If you're just hating on yourself and you're like, oh, I'm a piece of garbage, like I didn't do this today, da da da, da. like you're not gonna be happy when you've done something. Getting off of celebrating yourself, I also wanna talk about gratitude. I really like journaling. I like to journal not every day about gratitude, but sometimes I just like to sit and think about the things that I'm grateful for because it really helps me be more disciplined, honestly. There are so many things that I am able to do and if I'm just sitting there thinking about all of the things that I am like not so good at doing, I'm not gonna get very far. It feels so nice to just tell myself like, I am so grateful that I have this body that I'm able to like work out in and become the best version of myself. Just kind of reminding yourself of like all those little things where you're like, wow, I get to become this best version of myself. I'm so happy that I get to do that. I feel like that just raises your energy and just makes all the good things more likely to happen. Nothing life-changing comes easily and I've definitely learned that. So you just have to try not to be so hard on yourself because you know, taking any step, watching a video even is as much of a step as going to the gym or you know, spending less money or whatever your goals are. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. They've definitely helped me, so I figured I would share. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate the people who tune in and watch my videos. This is still a new channel for me. This is my third video, so I'm really excited to just be kind of talking about things that I'm happy about and passionate about and sharing them with the people who are willing to watch. If you did enjoy this video, you know, maybe let me know. Give me a little comment, a little subscribe if you're feeling funky. I will see you guys in my next one and take care until then.